Hello, it's Barna here and in this video I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows about a little bug fix so that we can import our Elementor template files once again. Now the issue is that whenever we are trying to import the JSON or the zip files of Elementor templates, we only see a quick flash on the uh, screen, on the admin panel, but nothing happens, nothing is being imported or whatsoever. Now the reason is, and I'm going to show you this in a second, is that Elementor has made some changes, but they didn't really advertise this information. I'm just going to switch over to my screen and I can show you the issue. So when we are going to the Elementor templates and trying to hit the import templates button with the browse, I'm just going to try to import a batch zip file that was generated by Elementor on a different website because I'm trying to import this into this website. And as soon as we click on the import now button, you can see that there is nothing being imported and they're supposed to be four different pages. Now, if I try to import the simple JSON file, as you can see, the end is the JSON. So this is a single page template. It should work. In some cases it works, in some cases it doesn't. And I have talked with the Elementor support and this is a official response how this should work. Also, it is um, something that you can find in the official Elementor FAQ, just in case it was extended, um, not sure when, because nobody really knew about it. Now you can see that the Katka template pack, uh, the fitness version, the homepage is being imported. So the JSON import is working, but the zip does not. Now to fix this issue, what we need to do is go to Elementor settings and under the advanced tab, you remember the enable unfiltered file uploads option. It used to be a very short notice that if you want to upload stuff like the SVG files and whatsoever, then this is what you need to enable. And that was all. Uh, now, as you can see, it is completely changed with additional information. Also uh, the mention of the JSON files and as I mentioned with some additional bits and bobs. Now we need to make sure that this is enabled. Let's click on the save changes, go back to the templates, import templates, rows, and now let's try to import the batch uh, template file once more. Import now, it is uh, working, so let's see what will happen in a second. And there we have all the four template files are imported in one go with the zip file that was Elementor providing us. Now, just in case, if you don't know what I'm talking about, for example, when you're working on a client website or whatsoever, and uh, for some reason you wanted to export those uh, templates, what you usually do is just uh, click on or select the few templates that you want to export after you have saved them into your templates library. And in the bulk actions, you have an export option, click on apply. And this is the one that is going to download you that zip file that you can batch import multiple templates on a different website. So this is uh, an issue that was going on for different people all over the globe. And also in my Katka template pack, I have these batch zip files that used to work for years until now. And uh, I've just been uh, asked to try to fix it somehow by uh, some of the clients who purchased the Katka template pack. And thank you for every single one of you who did that. So the issue was not in the template pack and I was actually worried that it was there, but it is not. It was a brand new option in the Elementor settings or not a new set, a new option. It was a new way of using it. Now, quick reminder, if you're using this option and you're finished with the importing and whatsoever, just go back to Elementor settings, advanced, and make sure that you disable the unfiltered file upload just to make sure that you uh, do not create a security uh, risk for your website. So this should be only used temporarily while you're editing your website, importing templates, uh, adding SVG files and whatsoever things that you need, uh, things that you know that they are from a secure location or source. So um, I hope this was useful. 
not sure why it wasn't advertised. Right now, this is the workaround and this is an official response. If you go to Elementor's uh, support page and check on the FAQ, they have extended this section and it is now the official way of doing it. So um, if it was useful, just please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to get some more tips and tricks later in the future. Until then, have an awesome day. See ya.